Forget what you think you know about fancy chefs and their precious creations. Pizza, my friends, is a dish for the people. But its story? Now that's a journey through time. Long before delivery guys on scooters and celebrity chefs arguing about pineapple, there was flatbread. The ancient Egyptians, masters of civilization, were also masters of bread. They figured out how to use yeast to make flatbreads, a staple in their diet. The Greeks, always up for a good time, took flatbread and ran with it. They called theirs placus, topping it with herbs, olives, and garlic. And then came the Romans. They loved their panis focaceus, a flatbread baked on hot stones. It was the food of emperors and gladiators, a true taste of the Roman Empire. Fast forward a few centuries and we find ourselves in the bustling, chaotic streets of 16th century Naples. This, my friends, is where pizza as we know it was born. Naples was a city of contrasts, a place where poverty and opulence rubbed shoulders. Neapolitans, always resourceful, needed food that was cheap, filling and could be eaten on the go. Enter the pizzaioli, the pizza makers who set up shop in the streets. They took those ancient flatbreads and topped them with whatever they could get their hands on. Tomatoes, cheese, herbs, anchovies. Tomatoes, those luscious red orbs, were a new world discovery. Brought back to Europe by Spanish explorers, they were initially viewed with suspicion. But the Neapolitans blessed their adventurous souls through caution to the wind. Every dish, no matter how humble its origins, needs a good story. Pizza as we know it today, was born in 1889, in the court of King Umberto I and Queen Margarita of Savoy. Legend has it that the queen, tired of the fancy French cuisine that dominated the royal table, was craving something simple, something Neapolitan. A local pizzaiolo, Rafael Esposito, was summoned to the palace. He arrived nervous and excited, carrying with him three of his finest creations. Esposito, inspired by the colors of the Italian flag, had created a pizza with red tomatoes, white mozzarella, and green basil. The queen was enchanted. And so, the pizza margarita was born, named in honor of the queen who had given it her royal seal of approval. From Naples to New York, pizza conquers the world. The late 19th and early 20th centuries saw waves of Italian immigrants leaving their homeland in search of a better life. They arrived on the shores of America, bringing with them their traditions, their stories, and of course, their love of pizza. New York City, that melting pot of cultures, became the new frontier for pizza. Italian immigrants set up shop in their new home, bringing the taste of Naples to the streets of Brooklyn and Little Italy. These early pizzerias were often humble affairs, family-run businesses that served as a gathering place for homesick immigrants. New York-style pizza with its large, foldable slices was born, a testament to the city's fast-paced energy. Chicago, not to be outdone, developed its own deep-dish pizza, a hearty, casserole-like creation that reflected the Midwest's love of all things cheesy and indulgent. A slice of trivia fun facts about everyone's favorite food. All right, folks, time for a little pizza trivia. Did you know that Americans eat an average of 46 slices of pizza per year? That's a lot of dough. And speaking of dough, the largest pizza ever made clocked in at a whopping 13,580 square feet. Pizza delivery is a multi-billion dollar industry, and it all started in 1960 when Domino's Pizza, then called Dominic's, delivered its first pie. And let's not forget about the toppings. While pepperoni may be the most popular in the U.S., some countries have more adventurous tastes. In Japan, you can find pizzas topped with squid ink, mayonnaise, and corn. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. So, next time you grab a slice, remember these fun facts and share them with your friends. And don't forget to share your pizza moments with us using the hashtag hash pizza lovers. Stay cheesy.